I'm Ralf Koswara, the CEO of Hemmersbach. We are the social purpose IT company. 20% of our profits go into direct action to fight problems where authorities fail. Every company can do what we do. And if everyone did so, there would be no suffering anymore. Social purpose company means that we use 20% minimum of our profits per year to fix problems where authorities fail with own colleagues and own resources. While other NGOs and also CSR activities from other companies are partially marketing driven, we are interested only in the solution, in the end-to-end -end solution. So um, and we're using our money, the money we earn in our commercial business to, to solve the problems. African rhinos are slaughtered by Asian syndicates for the horn, which is worth up to $70,000 per kilogram. If somebody is not doing anything, there will be no rhinos left in the wild in 10 years and we are patrolling the borders of the reserves with boots on the ground and with technology to avoid uh, the incidents. We are here to protect the African rhinos that can't protect themselves. There are three pillars of Hennesbach Rhino Force. The first one is obviously the anti-poaching, the direct management of the rhino and protection of those from extinction. The second one is the cryo vault, which is a biobank of genetics of the rhino. And the third pillar is my area, which is the community projects. When we started with Hennesbach Rhino Force, I asked the amateur question, uh, if somebody is collecting sperms and oocytes? The answer was no, not seriously, as you can't earn money with it and nobody has access to rhinos. So we had both the will to spend money and the access. So since 2017 we are collecting sperm and oocytes and this ensures with the measure of artificial reproduction that rhinos can never get extinct. The community project gets the community to support the work of saving the wildlife. The Marara Recycling Project was started as a direct result of seven elephants dying um, over a six week period at the end of 2017. And with the help of Hemisbach Rhino Force, we were able to open up one of the elephants to try to understand why they were dying. And the stomachs were absolutely riddled with plastics and rubbish. So as a result of that situation, we offered this opportunity to the community to work with Hemisbach Rhino Force. They came forward and um, 12 ladies landed up volunteering. The more bags of litter that they pick up, the more groceries uh, vouchers they earn, which has had a direct impact on the well-being of not only themselves, but their whole household and their extended family that they now support. So why did we transform Hemmersbach into a social purpose company? It has been always in our DNA to fix problems. We never were motivated by earning money. We always wanted to understand things and to fix things. But we always recognized a gap, a gap of meaning. So we started to heal the gap. We are applying our pragmatic intelligence outside the IT industry to fix real world problems. After we have founded Hammersmith Rhino Force, um, we thought what could be our second direct action. And Kunal Verma, our country manager in India, um, raised the question if we can do something for kids in India. And at the same time we have received also requests and questions from foster care centers in Poland. What can we do? Can we help them somehow? So um, we investigated and it was clear that we have to do something. The purpose of Hammersmith Kids Family is to help children in need. To, to protect them if they can't do them themselves and um, to give them a chance of a brighter future. 
first of the step of the Hammersbach Kids Family activity is related to improving uh, kids' um, living condition. The second is related to um, improving their health and the third one uh, to education. Um, Hammersbach Kids Family in Poland is uh, participating in delivery furnitures. We renovate the rooms and we provide uh, with uh, daily usage materials to the kids' uh, homes to improve their uh, living conditions. India is one of the most populated country in the world and around 28 to 30 percent of Indian citizens are living in poverty and only in Bangalore we can find around 315,000 children who are living on street due to various reasons might be poverty, uh, family breakdown, violence etc. Uh, we started uh, our first ever kids home in Bangalore that is taking care of uh, quite a lot of children uh, we are ensuring their education, food and everything. Well, we started off basically to support existing uh, orphanages that lack some funding. So we provided basic needs um, like a bed, groceries on a weekly basis and quality education. Working together with these orphanages, we kind of found out um, where these children had actually originally come from and uh, most of the children had come obviously from the streets and slums and faced some form of domestic violence or abuse. So our team has uh, worked really hard to ensure that the kids are provided with the right kind of education so that they can actually qualify for the entrance examination in one of the renowned schools in Bangalore. I, I can clearly see that for them after getting this kind of an environment and a proper education, their uh, meaning towards life has totally changed. They see things differently. They understand things differently. And that's always in a positive way. So our goal for the next five years is um, to help a number of 10,000 kids in India and Poland um, with all aspects um, we are supporting children with. So how did our clients react on our direct action? To be frank, it's becoming a real advantage. They are getting engaged with us to learn and understand how they could do it for themselves. So they would like to use their aggressive determination that is focused on producing profit to make the world a better place. We had already a direct action project to protect animals, to protect children, uh, but the planet was missing. And therefore, we decided to found Hammersbach Climate Force. The goal is to enable the cooling of the atmosphere. The cheapest way to bind CO2 is using olivine. At the moment, we are planting trees as an interim measure until our olivine activities are scalable. There are scientists that say uh, only 2% of the shelf beaches on Earth could solve the entire CO2 problem if uh, olivine is put on these beaches. Olivine is actually the main mineral in the mantle of the Earth. Thanks to plate tectonics, there are many locations on Earth where these mantle rocks have been pushed onto the surface of the Earth. And then they actually look something like this. Um, you can find them in certain mountains. Uh, these mantle rocks often have metals or other precious ores, so people are already mining them to get these materials out. So they are on the surface of the Earth as a waste material, and there is more than enough olivine than we could actually ever use to take down the CO2 from the atmosphere. I always wanted to be remembered as somebody who stood by during the troubled times for people. Working with this company, I feel 
that kind of a meaning I can add to my life. That's why it's important to be a part of such a wonderful organization. And Hemisberg Rhino Force has come in with an unbelievable determination to fight against all odds, to not accept the status quo, to bring the Black Rhino back to a place that is their home. And it's not through any motivation of financial gain to do that. It's purely because that's the correct thing to do. I'm a father um, and uh, I always wanted to do something for children. Uh, it's my passion. Um, and um, with Hammersbach, with our direct action, uh, I have right now the chance to do this. We are really blessed to work for children who are from these backgrounds. When we see their smile, we feel proud of ourselves. Our ultimate goal is to produce a lot of profits as a company and to spend uh, not only 20% of our profits, to spend all of our profits for direct action. We get up in the morning because of our social purpose.